Greetings, it is Max so Diddly here, and today I'm here with another C Sharp tutorial to you get that A in your exam or coursework. And today we're here with validating a mobile phone number. So we're going to be using the UK standard, but this tutorial can easily be adapted to other standards for other countries. So let's get right into it. Before we make a function to check if the phone number is valid, we're going to make a function to check that the number is valid. And what I mean by valid, I mean each character of the string consists of a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9, like in a phone number. So this is how we do it. We've got a static boolean, it's called isDigit and it takes a string as an input. This will be our number in most cases. Then we're going to do a for each loop. We're going to loop through each character of the string and check if the character is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9. We're going to do it with a more elegant way of just checking if it's below 0 or greater than 9. If any of these characters doesn't match this criteria, then the whole number is invalid, so we can return the false straight away and not bother checking the rest of the string. However, if we're able to successfully get through this whole for each loop, we return the true because it's clearly valid because it meets the criteria of consisting of only digits. And now we've got our is phone number function. So we got a static boolean again because we want it to return the true or false. It's going to be called is phone number takes a string as a number, and we're going to return. Um, we're going to put a we're going to return a boolean here, and this boolean is go it's going to be determined in the return statement. So our one line of code in this function is going to be this return statement. So we're going to do number zero. Now this is this is just referencing the first character of our phone number. In our example here, it's going to be referencing this zero. And we're going to check if the first character or digit of our number is a zero. Then we're going to check, is the second character of our digit referencing number one? And is it equal to seven? So it's going to be referencing this number here. Then we're going to check if the number length is equal to 11. Uh, to get the length of a string, we do the string name, then we do dot length. And it's checking if this number is 11 characters. Then we're also going to call our isDigit function and pass in the string. And we've explained how that works. And basically, for true statements, everything has to be true for this to be true. With an AND statement. So, for an AND statement to return a true, everything has to be true. If one of these be uh, become false, let's say the length of this is 12. But it starts with a zero, has a seven as its second digit, and it is a number. It's It would return a false as when we work with and statements in our if statements and our Boolean logic, everything must be true to get a true. Otherwise, you end up getting a false. And that's it. And up here, we're going to do console.writeline is phone number. And we're passing our function. We're going to pass in a number here to demonstrate. Then we're going to do console.readline to stop the program exiting. So let's go in. Let's click play. As you can see, it returns a true. 11 characters long. Starts with a zero. Then it followed by a seven. And it is a number. Uh, let's just change one of these to a four. Just to demonstrate it does work with multiple phone numbers. And it returns true. Let's try 10 characters. Returns a false because it has to be 11. Let's start with a 1 instead of a 7. Oh, instead of a 0. As you can see, it returns a false. Let's start with, let's have the second digit to be an 8. As you can see, it returns false. So, thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you want more C-Sharp tutorials, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for being a great audience.